Okay, I'd like to show you today how to use Grapher to track the progress of a projectile using parametric equations. So when your Grapher window opens up, the first thing you want to do is change your first line to t equals some number. Once you do that, then you want to go down here to the plus sign, add another new equation, and then what you're going to do is define a function. So I'm going to say f as a function of time is equal to, I then go over here to my palette and I pick that I want an X and a Y and in the X I'm going to have it moving at a speed of 3 and in the Y I'm going to have it start at a height of 5, I'm going to have it moving upward at a speed of 15 and I'm going to have it on the planet Earth. So I do my parameters for my function. Okay then what I want to do is I want to pull up a new equation and this time I want to specify what my x and y coordinates will be. So I say x and y is equal to, then I type in my function as a value of capital T. So right now my capital T has a value of 2. So my x would be 6 and my y would be 15.4. My window does not allow for that. So I go up now to frame limits. I'm going to make my smallest x value negative 1. I don't want to make it 0 because I want to be able to see the um, y axis still. I'm going to make my highest x value 20. That might be too large or too small, but I can adjust. I want to make my y value minimum negative 1 again so I can see the axis. And I'll make my highest y value 20. Again, I may need to adjust. So when I do that, you can see the location of my projectile at time equals 2. If I click back on this and go to animate parameter, I could then change it from 2 to 1 to 0, and I could go beyond. These are not ideal. I'd like my step size to be a little smaller. So I click on this little uh, menu thing. I want my minimum time to be 0, my maximum time to be 5. I'd like to see 200 different values. And now I can scroll through and watch my projectile fly. It would also be nice to leave a path behind. And I can do that by hitting the plus sign, new equation. I want to specify my x and y for this path. And I want them to be equal to my function. But not just the value capital T. I want to see all the values from 0 up to the present capital T. So now when I go back to my parameter and animate, I see a path that starts at time equals zero and ends at whatever time I happen to be at. Uh, what I want to do now is if I wanted to change some of this around, I would just um, go to the inspector and I can change the color of the ball here if I want. I could change my line properties. I can make it or the properties for the ball. I can make the uh, ball wider. If I want to do the line, I click on this one. I can change the color of the line. And actually, let's try this again. Change the color of the line. I could change the style of the line. I click on this, make it dotted, and I can change the thickness of the line. So I can make it look however I would like. Hopefully this is enough to get you to be able to create animations using Grapher with parametric equations.